advise people that are sort of like they go into a CVS and you know so a lot of condom buying is last minute, right? Or um, same with tampon buying, you, you sort of ran out and you're like stuck in the in the store and you've got to buy something. What's the worst to best situation for you know a lot of these more conventional drugstores? Well, I'm glad you mentioned CVS because CVS is actually really a leader in providing more natural options in sort of the personal care and sexual wellness space. Uh, we're sold in CVS, for example, with our condoms and lubricants and wipes. And they've actually come out so far as to say that I think by 2019 or 2020, they're going to ban certain things like parabens from any of the products they're selling. That's huge. I mean, that is the way you change how products are made. Um, so, yeah, I mean... First of all, look for a brand that's disclosing their ingredients. Um, I think that's always the first step, even though the average time people spend in the condom aisle is seven seconds. You know, take an extra seven seconds and look at the back of the box and see if you can find the ingredients. That's really, and if there's words and things on there that you don't understand or you've never heard of, like just maybe look for something else. Um, in terms of tampons, I mean, CVS actually is selling an organic cotton tampon now, um, not sustained, but another brand, which is great. But there's also now 100% cotton options that are more affordable than organic cotton. Um, you still have the issue of the glyphosate trace amounts being in those products, but it's better than a rayon synthetic fragranced blend that's chlorine bleached. Um, so there's options. I think it's just about taking those extra few seconds or extra few minutes to do your research and look at the back of the box. Are there any DIY or like homemade, not, not condoms, but um, yeah, I've heard a couple on you know a couple of wellness blogs and stuff talking about ways to use maybe coconut oil as a lubricant or you know if you can't find something in a store that's yeah. really natural. coconut oil is an interesting one um there isn't a good or any research around like what happens when you put coconut oil inside your vagina i know that coconut oil is sort of this like magical thing that people are putting everywhere but so i don't recommend it um as a lubricant although i know that it's a definitely probably a better option than like a red neon smell like fragrance thing that you may find on the shelf um, the other issue which you need to be really careful careful about with coconut oil is that you can't use it with latex or like a silicone toy um, it makes latex and silicone disintegrate so you need to be really careful when you're using sort of a DIY oil at home as a lubricant that it's latex compatible because most of them aren't